Hi, it's getting baked with dye. Well, I am decarving or I'm, I'm grinding up some Cheese Whiz cannabis flour that I got from Liberty Health Sciences. Um, it's the Latter Days brand. You really need to try them. Um, they're eights or twenty dollars all day, every day. And this one was um, almost 21% THC. Now, one thing I love about this strain, not only is it extremely good for pain relief, um, and, and it also helps with, with uh, stress, you know, uh, anxiety, but um, the Cheese Whiz actually has a cheesy aroma and flavor. And so it, it's just extremely good for baking and cooking with savory items. So what I'm doing today is I'm, I'm going to actually make some cornbread and baked beans. Now, y'all, you all know I'm a vegetarian. I love buying canned vegetarian baked beans. I also like to do them, you know, from scratch with the dried beans, but uh, I'm not set up for that in my RV just yet. Um, but I don't have all of my, my big pod, and I don't like using my propane stove. It's scary, and it uses a lot of propane. So, um, we'll deal with that later. But anyway, I like to doctor these up with you know, brown sugar and ketchup and mustard and chili powder and things of that nature. Um, and I'm going to have beans and cornbread. And I also found a little package of Martha White um, cornbread, buttermilk cornbread, where you just add water. But uh, I'm going to be adding a little bit of uh, butter because I'm going to put my decarbed herb in a little bit of butter. Um... But anyway, it's going to be a very easy way for me to make cornbread in my toaster oven. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous bud. I love this cheese whiz. It's beautiful. Um, so, I'm just grinding up in my Papa Zerb grinder. This, this is the best grinder by far I've ever had, ever. I, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. But, um, need to break out my other grinders, too. I have some other ones. But I am going to grind up an eighth of this cheese whiz. And then we're going to add it to our cornmeal after it decarbs. Now, how do you decarb? Um, well, if you don't make edibles, you may not know. The best way is to decarb at temperatures. My oven is hot. I'm going to turn it off temperatures around 220 to 250 seems to be the the sweet spot for decarbing. You can do it as low as 180 and do it, you know, for like a full hour, hour and 10 minutes, you know, if you want to. Um, but I've got my oven preset for about 230. It's just kind of where I like how I like to decarb my herb, I think 230 really does it for me. And now why do we, why are we baking our ground up herb before we cook with it? Well, because before, when it's just in this state, this has been cured, it's been dried, and it is THCA. Well, you need to knock off the A to release that THC. How do you do that? Well, you do it by baking it at very low temperatures, 230 to 250, for about 45 minutes to an hour, and that will knock that A off, and then you can put it in your foods. Now, when you're cooking with it, when you're baking with it, the decarbed herb, don't go above 350. Just don't do it. You go at a lower temperature for longer. So, you'll bake this cornbread for about 20 minutes, 16 to 20 minutes, whereas, you know, maybe if it was a hotter oven, you would do it for 12 or, you know, whatever. So, anyway, I'm getting this all ground up. It's, it's actually very beautiful. And then I'm going to put it, and I'm using the pan that I'm going to actually bake my cornbread in, because then you, we will also have all of the residue in the bottom of the pan to go in my, um, cornbread. <laughs> I always do that. 
but I will get this in the oven and then in about an hour I'll be back to mix up some cornbread and get my baked beans going which cook extremely fast that's my service dog he's this this is what I deal with when you have a skill well he jumped down he likes to get up there he likes to get up on the booth and um, bark at things through the window uh, I would prefer that he didn't especially since I literally just cleaned off the table <laughs> so but you know that's the life with a skipper key service dog he's you know crazy and I love him that's how it goes all right, well, we, you know, I haven't even checked my keef trap in this grinder. I don't even know if I have any keef there. And it has, you know, the extra chamber. And look at all that herb. <laughs> Little scraper. That's another thing I love about this Papa's herb uh, grinder, you know, and the good grinders do. They come with this little scraper so you can... Get every bit out, you know, get that little bit of keef and shake and clean out the little nooks and crannies. All right, well, that is that. Oh, wait, we got lots of nooks and crannies here to clean out. Got herb all up in here. It smells very much like cheese. It, it just almost smells like a cheese biscuit. This, this herb is, it's very savory and it um it actually increases my appetite which is good because i have to watch my high metabolism i have to, to force myself to gain weight because my body doesn't want to um and it's no fun because i get dangerously thin all right thank you papa zerb for making the best grinder ever we have our beautiful oh there's one little bud that didn't get all the way Round up, I forgot to throw in the grinder. <laughs> All right, well, we have beautiful herb ready to go in the toaster oven. We're going to turn it back on. I'm going for the full hour. And the other great thing is, you know, when you're decarving, just break up those little stems because you're cooking with them. And spread it out toss it in the oven and it's, it's in there it's going so we got it going and we'll be back in about an hour and make some cannabis cornbread and maybe we should throw a little bit of smoked cheddar in it maybe we might do that that would be delicious you can store the um, can of butter in your refrigerator. Um, you could even freeze it. But I'm going to go ahead and use it immediately. And then the cornbread, I could either freeze it for about six weeks, if I want, up to six weeks if I wanted to, or I can store it in the refrigerator for a week. I promise you it will be gone in about three days. So, anyway, this is Getting Baked with Dye. I'll see you guys in just a little bit. About an hour, we'll get to baking some can of cornbread and baked beans. This is Getting Baked to Die. Let's get baked together. Stay tuned and hi. Namaste.